Hi Capricorn and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from April 3rd to the 9th of 2023, but it could also be timeless as whoever sees this whenever they want, whenever they have time to watch, this will be in the right in the right time for them. Okay, so that's why it's timeless as well. So I decided to change the setting of how you see me first because well, that setting was nice too, but it was really far, you know, I, feel, I felt it was like, well, you saw more of my room than anything else, but well, me in it. This way, it's a bit more like uh, closeness, you know, so welcome to my humble home. And uh, so we're going to do a bit of the readings differently, how I used to do them before. For those of you that have been with, with me for a very long time, I used to do my readings differently. And I think that it, it, it just happens like through the years, you know, you evolve and you do things uh, on a different level. And then I start thinking or just feeling that I, I was missing in the way that I used to just do my readings. So I'm going to go back and doing the readings like that. And uh, anyways, I want to thank you all for being here, Capricorn. It's been a long journey, <laughs> hasn't it? So uh, <clears throat> we're going to start out with the reading with your challenge. Okay, this is uh, from the the oracle card the key and then this will be how you overcome the challenge which is part two of it right so i'm just going to uh, start shuffling here for you uh, so anywhere that you have capricorn in your chart this is your reading anytime you see this will be the right time for you if the reading resonates you claim it if not look at other placements look at your other placements in the reading you take what's yours and you let the rest go also in the reading if you feel that i'm not talking about you then swap the energies okay around and cuspers and cross watchers are welcome to the reading so we'll see what your challenge is here and uh, then we'll just move on to the readings okay i need my glasses to read only so let's see what your challenge is capricorn no oh, that's quick it's not personal projection it's not personal Maybe someone is saying that to somebody else. It says, many times others project their own pain onto you. The situation is not personal, but rather an opportunity for compassion for yourself and other person involved or the other person involved. Stop taking the blame by automatically thinking it's your fault. Have discernment of what you own, but also what isn't your problem. So it's not personal, okay? And underneath here, of the deck you got letting go resistance the cycle has ended and it's time to let go to experience new growth it is vital to have closure and gratitude for the situation to make room for new things to enter go within to find what is holding you back change is necessary in this situation now we're going to look at the solution Creativity, discovery. A lot of a lot of the signs got this this week. I noticed. Okay, so it could be a form of uh, maybe creativity, of painting, writing, singing, playing an instrument. It could be dancing. It could be anything that you feel is creative on your end here. So, so one of, one of the ways that divine wants to connect with you is through creative expression. It gets you out of your busy mind to feel, listen, and know how best to flow the energy through you. You're being called to tap into your creative side to reconnect and discover many talents. Be open to the process and let it flow without judging yourself. Okay. And underneath the deck, you've got love redefined romance. Cupid has entered your heart and has awakened you to love and romance, but this time on a different vibration. Having a newfound love for yourself has created opportunity for a new chapter with possibilities to cultivate healthy relationships. Beautiful. Okay. I'm also going to take a few cards out for you from uh, the Love Oracle. You got two. So this is your first card. It says, you're, look, deep, look deep within your heart. 
Capricorn, and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Next one you got is this one here. And this is, talks about healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. And so it is. Okay, so look deep within your heart and you will find and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. That's beautiful to get. Beautiful cards. Okay, so now let's get started with your reading. Three shuffles. Got in three. And three shuffles again. Capricorn. Completions are taking place, Capricorn. A lot of you are suffering in silence at this time. You're not telling, you know, anybody about what you're going through. Maybe this is not all of you, but for some of you, like maybe this is what you're doing, okay? You've been suffering in silence and really taking it in, uh, taking uh, in what you've been going through here. Um, the completions are coming in because there's new beginnings that are taking, they're going to be taking place here for you. So definitely here, it's like, you know, it's like you've been contemplating, uh, going deeper within your journey and your healing uh and you know walking the path alone here okay a lot of meditation too and contemplating we'll see what's next you've been sacrificing this card also came up a lot okay maybe at one point you had your head above the water in a situation but there's been a lot of sacrifice that you had to do yeah a lot of sacrificing and you're surrendering to something here you're surrendering you're you're above the water there's been a lot of conflict and defeat in a situation that you were dealing with. Also a lot of mental thought, a lot of conflict and peeling off those layers, those decisions that have to be made here and heartache and loss. A lot of you have been healing the heart chakra here heart chakra energy it could have been a heartbreak a car heartbreak uh, uh, could have been uh, something of the past could be a family member it could be any uh, just type of loss or like a, something that broke along the way you got firm foundation which talks about there could be uh, some type of stability in a home in a family this talks about celebrations or some type of offer that's coming in and you got the universe, which talks about the world. You completed a chapter here, and it shows there's been a lot of obstacles and challenges too along the way. Okay, so you did get that too. You get okay, so definitely here, there's a chapter that's closing for you, a huge chapter, not just a, a tiny one. This is like a huge chapter that you have experienced and went through here. Okay. And it's going to bring you success. You're going to the next level. I see also traveling. And I see some type of stability coming towards you. Whether it's money, family, or some type of anything here. Uh, work or business or someone coming in here for you. Okay. And there's a new beginning that's taking place. Okay. Having that leap of faith. Now, let's take out some extra cards here. until, And then I will clarify these cards for you. Okay. Give me a second. So three shuffles. One, two, three. The Capricorn. I think you're purging everything. You're purging everything in the last like 300 years, even though I know that it's because of the planets too, you know, and because of Capricorn shifting into Aquarius. You're purging the last of everything here. You got the moon. Emotions are, are at an all time high right now. A lot of you are seeing past illusions. Finally, hidden information and knowledge is coming to you repressed repressed um 
feelings that are, are coming to the surface. There is a soul connection here, definitely for you. Maybe in the next new moon, full moon energy. Someone here is around the corner. And misdirection and cycle dreams. A lot of you are having, are having a lot of dreams right now. You probably could be manifesting in dreams. Um, you're living out your secret fantasy in dreams. Um, a lot of you are connecting to the 5D at this time. And your intuition and your visualizations are, you know, grander. So you got the moon and energy. There is a soul connection here for you. Okay. So this is about a strong, undeniable attraction, a bond that can be broken. There's a soul level connection with someone. It doesn't have to be just romantic. Okay. It could be anybody. And a spiritual force that joins soul, souls together. There was a misdirection. Okay. Now listening to intuition. Blocked insight and foresight. Confused about future path. Bad decision or judge, judgment call that took place and cycle. Okay, so again, a cycle. Repeating karmic cycles, not learning from past mistakes, spiritual punishment. Some of you feel it's a spiritual punishment here. But a lot of you are breaking cycle and you're cutting the cord in a situation here. Okay, so now we're going to start clarifying the cards for you, Cappy. Let's look at the new beginning here in the overall stepping into the unknown, taking that leap of faith. Five of Wands reversed, Ten of Swords, Six of Swords reversed. Yeah, definitely here there was an ending of a chapter, okay? It keeps repeating the same thing because this is the, the, the fundamental. Uh, when a message keeps repeating in a reading, it's, it's what they want you to focus on, that, it, there, that there is, for this new beginning to come in, there was an ending of a chapter here, okay? Something that was not successful in, any, uh, in, uh, in a situation. But what I am seeing is that... Um, there's going to be a resolve if there was been a, if you had conflict within yourself or if it was with people around you, if there was a lot of drama, there's definitely a, or energies were like all over the place. There's something that's calming down. It's grounding itself, but there's a resolution here that's taking place. OK, so definitely a resolution. OK, uh, harmony being restored. Definitely here. There's some type of yeah resolution or harmony being repaired or something like that. Someone here had, uh, with the uh, Hermit card went within, right? Within, within, right? They had to f see new perspectives in, uh, in a situation because someone here was in their head all the time. There's been a lot of conflict, like I said, and defeat in a situation that you kept going towards. Some of you are releasing this with the moon emotions, right? That's why the moon is here, right? It's there to release all your emotions and it's about seeing past illusions, okay? And hidden information that you're going to be getting all the repressed feelings. So someone here is definitely going within, right? Going within here to contemplate, to dig, to go deeper into our, their spiritual journey it, or meditation here. Because there is, there is definitely a connection around you with the lovers. It could be anybody for you, anybody, you know, whoever that means. There's an important decision here that has to be made. Let's look at suffering and silence. You do have number 55. You have one, two, three, four, or two, one, 21, 23, 21, 12, or 12, 12. Okay, let's look at suffering and, suffering and silence here. The five of pentacles, the three of cups, oops. The seven of wands reversed. <clears throat>
there's a there's a shifting that's taking place. A shifting is taking place. Sorry, someone. <clears throat> My voice is like going up and down. Okay. Something shifting in energy here for you. Okay. If there was um, someone that done, did not play by the rules or someone that did hurt you, when it's reversed, the Five of Swords, it talks about someone here shifting the energy, uh, making it, trying to make amends or changing things up. Like there's like something coming in that's going to, it's going to be surprising is what I'm, I'm being told yeah okay but now let's look at this card here sorry these cards are very slippery okay the suffering and silence that a lot of you have been doing for a while now probably felt left out ghosted in the dark or abandoned okay or could have been also financial ruin or just losing something a job or money Whatever it is, is that you're feeling very overwhelmed over this, okay? And you feel like you cannot defeat the situation. As much as you have tried to overcome it, a lot of you haven't. But with the Three of Cups, it's showing me that there is maybe someone returning. Could be anybody here, okay? It doesn't have to be just a lover or a boyfriend or your soulmate or someone that you... Could be anybody. Could be a family member, a friend, a colleague, whatever it is here, okay? There, there could be some type of collaboration, okay, um, or a reunion, right? Because this definitely here, there's somebody here that is going to be surrendering. All right. Um, but definitely you are going to overcome this. You're going to feel, you're going to start feeling better. I see there's going to be support around you, maybe uh, friends or family members as well, okay? Now, I'm going to just take an extra card here for the seven. Um, I want to take one more card for the five of wands. Uh, sorry, five of pentacles, the three of cups, and the seven of wands. Reversed. Just give me a final card here. Oops. Okay. Someone's dropping the ball. Someone's not going back and forth anymore. It's done. There's a completion here. Okay. Something got dropped. With the Nine of Pentacles reversed, someone here, there was, it was too much. There was someone here that needed to work on themselves, needed to really work on themselves. There was too much codependency in this, okay? Um, but definitely here, uh, like I said, it had to do with stability, maybe. Um, yeah, it had to do with stability, that's for sure. For some of you, it could be some type of finance. I want to know something here. Give me in one more. I just want one more card. Give me another card for the Nine of Pentacles reversed and the Two of Cup. Uh, two of Pentacles reversed, please. One more card for the outcome for Capricorn. the outcome here yep it's about you taking your power back okay the emperor with the two of cups now this could be an offer coming in something at the end something at the end and completely cycle out of your life okay capricorn for this to come in this is any type of commitment it could be love yes it could be family member it could be a father towards uh, uh, someone in their life it could be anybody it could be at work okay whatever it is is it's just about commitment it's about setting new rules new foundations and this is happening in the month of april march to april but anyways this is from april yeah so we're in april yeah uh maybe it already happened for some of you this is about uh, strong foundations it's about commitment it's about action and there is the two of cups and energy coming in this could be an agreement a contract it could be a love exchange it can be two people in sync but something is definitely coming in here i wanted to go deeper into it. so that's why i wanted to know there's been a lot of ment a, a mental anguish in a situation okay of the past because something lacked direction or lacked momentum or lacked strategy okay and something is definitely coming into balance here for you okay so this uh, it's it's very intense you're reading capricorn i could feel it all right so let's look at the hangman you got the moon reversed Pisces or cancer energy 
something will be revealed here. Did it not say that something will be revealed? Yeah, so something is definitely going to be revealed here. You're going to get clarity. This is pushing over, pushing past the fear in a situation. So definitely there will be clarity here for you. The world, you got it twice. And the page of swords reverse. Yeah, someone's still not communicating. But doesn't mean that they're not watching you on social media. Okay, yeah, definitely here there is an ending of a cycle okay ending of a cycle you got the universe again the world you okay so this talks about maybe uh maybe you weren't having communication with someone for a very long time maybe someone needs to travel near you or you need to travel near someone whatever this is it talks about where you're going to get the clarity and the insight that you needed okay and you push through the fear there will be some type of i do see um, um traveling indicated here for you okay Going to the next level, victory and success. You surrendered. Give me and underneath you have a wish that's granted here. Let's look at the page of swords reversed. One more card for the page of swords reversed. Why is the page of swords reversed? Yeah, because someone walked away without communication. Someone walked away, okay? Someone removed their energy. The Eight of Pentacles reversed. Someone here that was temperamental. That um, it was their way or the highway in a situation. They were very like... They were very like... Um, not only temperamental, but not able to like... Not being patient in a situation. So there was someone that walked away. That's why the Page of Swords reversed. And that's why you got the clarity of thought in a situation you will get clarity over this indefinitely and there will be some type of communication and it's about following your intuition okay let's look at the conflict and defeat here the four cups the knight of wands reversed the three of wands yeah, you're moving away from these type of conflicts. You're moving away from people or situations or unrequited love. Just whatever or people that, you know, used to come in into your life, out of your life, in, out, whatever it is. Uh, you're, you're not accepting that or those challenges anymore, okay? And your manifestations are here. You've been waiting for it. You've been waiting for something. There's a three of wands or your manifestations are here. You've been waiting for this for a while. It's coming in. It's in your energy field right now which is going to bring you to the four of wands, which talks about, again, the four of wands here, a firm foundation. It could be business, love. It could be anything here. A lot of celebrations, less interference. This is about expanding. It's about, uh, this could be, it's about success. Some of you could be overseas. You know, there could be some, definitely there's traveling here indicated 100%. All right. Let's look at the mental conflict that you've been releasing and healing and healing. There's been so many healing uh -huh. so much healing that has been done here let's look at the mental conflict the devil here you come into your own reading the knight of cups reversed the two of swords reversed yeah well someone was not able to come in with love because there was i also feel there was some type of obsession now this is not for or just toxic people or situations this could be saturn and energy whatever it is maybe at this time you weren't able to give what you, you can't you there was some type of decision that was rendered you see the two of swords it's upright here but here it's reversed so it means that you went within okay there is you had to heal here there's someone around you that had to heal okay uh, definitely someone wasn't coming with an offer at this time uh you know and uh with the knight of swords and energy i don't know if you see the cards okay there will be a message coming in like i said there's a message coming in but someone still needs to self-care self-love there's a time of reflection that is needed here in a situation i want to take out another card for the devil card page of cups reversed yeah someone still needs to he heal their inner child um they're not ready to to offer or to arrive to you in that way but they will come in with a message they probably are going to be very wounded when they come towards you. Yeah, because something was like one-sided here. Messages are going to return. 
definitely some there's messages coming in someone's going to give you a message but there's going to be many other messages coming towards you capricorn so you're going higher in momentum it's going to be swift and energy and uh, i also feel that you're going to start being in alignment to everything in your synchronicities because you are overviewing everything right now not only your money or your pentacles or your investments it's everything that you've been working hard so hard for okay and been putting so many much patience into that it's going to come to fruition here okay there's definitely here some type of energy that's coming towards you for sure let's look at the three of swords not this card it was so the card that wanted to pop out but went back in was the king of wands why is the three of swords here the ten of wands yeah fed up with this ten of wands with the three of swords how many heartaches do you have to go through how much more what is the lesson here Capricorn for you because this is a lesson it's a karmic lesson that you have to learn over and over and over again and it's okay because all of us do this right you're not the only one so don't worry about that but there's an ending of this okay there's an ending where you were in pain with the nine of wands okay it was mis misdirection like it says here misdirection there was definitely misdirection in a situation here why is hard it here with the ten of wands for Cappy? the seven of pentacles the magician reversed the death you're going through a huge transformation death and rebirths a lot of things are happening you know you had to re re you had to re-establish how you would were manifesting some of you were dealing with a lot of people that used to manipulate you a lot or you had dealing with one person whatever the case is it's an ending that's taking place where you're reevaluating everything you're going to be going through a huge transformation here with the heart okay there's a huge transformation that's taking place there could also be loss around you that's going to create this transformation it depends you know but uh, definitely there is a huge transformation that's going to take place for you let's look at four ones because you got that twice page of Pentacles high priestess the Queen of Cups here you are you're firm yourself your intuition is intact you're loving you're caring and there's an offer coming in with the page of Pentacles you have to trust your intuition on this but it's going to give you a for, firm foundation whether this is a job and uh, or um, getting a higher position or um, it could be someone coming in that's very loyal and faithful there could be someone coming in to apologize but you're hesitant to take the sleep forward just to, to take the sleep forward there's some type of hesitance hesitance you're not yeah you're hesitating let's look at this page of Pentacles what is there what is this offer because the page is a very small energy what is uh, the page of Pentacles about for uh, Capricorn the nine of Pentacles reversed the six of swords reversed the seven of swords reversed the three of swords ace of pentacles okay well i don't know who i'm going to break this to but if there's someone of the past that's returning to, to you let's say because they want to give closure because they want to give you a message you know they see you slipping away they see you that you're moving away that you feel that you are going forward when you are evolving and growing and there's a lot of self-love and self-care in oneself okay you get into a new paradigm and so everybody that's been attached to you that's been in the lower paradigm is going to come and reach out to you because they don't want you to move forward and this is one i feel that this has to do with one of you precisely out there that needs to hear this message if they're coming in for an apology they're not moving they're not coming towards you they're going to come clean yes they're going to come clean definitely someone's going to come clean here because they've been hiding a lot but they're not moving towards you they're not this is something karmic that they're having a hard time now this doesn't have to be about you uh cappy if it is then you take it with a grain of salt because it's important to learn about self-healing and self-care which i know you have already but uh, if it's the person that you're dealing or anybody that you're dealing with that ha is having a hard time learning the le lesson here this is the person that you're dealing with even though they're going to come clean right there's still a lot of heartbreak with this uh, individual 
Um, and it's a lesson that keeps replaying over and over and over. And the more you go into this situation, the more trouble there will be because they're not moving towards you. They're not moving, period. Okay, but they are going to come clean. It's important to trust your intuition. You're very loving and very caring, but it's important to trust your intuition because there is a new person coming in or a new opportunity coming in for you in the month of April. And it's up to you if you want to move forward with this. Okay, but I'm just telling you, all right, because someone's coming back to replay the same thing over and over again. It's like the same song is playing over and over. So let's look at the universe here. The world, because you got it twice here. There's a lot of ending of cycles. And April is going to start feeling better for you as you go along. You got the four ones reversed. Did I take the card from here? No, I must. Okay. Six are these? Okay, they're reversed. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> you got the four of wands, the six of cups, and the nine of wands. You, you're feeling stuck in your head? If you're feeling stuck at any point in your head about anything, go into your heart chakra. The heart will, the heart will lead you the way in every situation, not in the mind. Whoever that's feeling stuck here, okay? Because there's someone here that's very narcissistic in energy. I see two people not communicating with each other. Not someone that's not emotionally available here. You're trying to find new perspectives and how to see a situation. You've seen the situation. You played around this for way too long. You've been persevering and persevering, okay? It's been a battle and a half for you. You're going to be healing. There's a beautiful healing that's taking place. You're going to have that firm foundation. With four one, the four ones is here telling me that there will be a celebration. There will be some type of proposal. This could be home, family, it could be at your community, it could be a world at large, whatever it is. But there's someone from your past or past life. But this is a soulmate energy, not a twin, a soulmate. Okay, and uh, oops, yeah, a soulmate energy. Let me take another card here for the Six of Cups. The Page of Wands in Divine Timing. There's good news coming in. Yep, the King of Pentacles, stability, could be money, okay? Whatever it is, it's about prosperity, in Divine Timing, good news, and the Tower is coming in to change this for you. Why? Because you deserve it. Why? Because you deserve that Ten of Pentacles. That's why. Because you didn't, you've been through everything. If, nobody, if you have grown on your spiritual journey, do not go back to an energy that has not grown, that has not worked. You need to move forward and live your life. Because beautiful things are taking place here with the Ten of Pentacles also, with the King of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands, and the Three of Wands, and the Emperor with the Two of Cups, completion, completion, Ace of Pentacles coming in with the Ten of Pentacles, the Fruit of Life. This is prosperity, abundance, inheritance, whatever it is here, it's coming in for you, okay? So now we're gonna take out extra cards here for Capricorn. If there's anything else I need to purge out of this reading, I will purge it out for you. You have a lot of fours on the ground. A lot of fours. There will be celebration around you. A birthday, birthday cake, or just some type of cake energy. Family, friends. I do see uh, remembrance. Uh, I also see like maybe some type of graduation, an anniversary, or wedding, or prom, birthday, whatever. Something is type of uh, celebration around you, okay? Um, it's happening soon. Number six in energy. It's happening soon. Okay, the situation or event in question will develop or unfold very soon. You got also yoga. Maybe some you need to do some type of um, meditation 
or you want to be still, you know, and do yoga. Uh, it's about contemplation. It's about going within. This is also like an energy where uh, you're just taking time out for yourself. Okay. You need to go within feeling balanced. This is a lot inner child healing that's taking place. Uh, you're meditating and you're spending time alone. There's a lot of reflection, wellness, and rest. You also got scuba diving, scuba di diver, scuba diver, which is another four. Okay. It's about going within again. It's about zero point. It's about observation, self-examination, exploring the unconscious mind in the void, desire to know, self-reflection, deep thoughts. Okay. And then you've got baggage. Maybe you're going on vacation. Okay. Or this could be that you're carrying a lot of excess baggage or the person you're dealing with is carrying this, whatever it is, it's about unresolved issues. Um, you know, uh, could be a pack rack or fearing separation or heavy burdens or responsibility. Um, there's a next phase and it's going to be a, a nice journey for you to go through. Okay. Cause there is a journey here that's indicated. So now I'm going to take out more cards here. And this is the last of what else I could see for all of you Capricorns, anything else that I could purge out of this reading to give to you. Let's see. For some of you, there was a separation. There was sadness around this, okay, or unsure of the future here. All right, uh, let's see what else they have here. There was a, some type of addiction, codependency, or obsession, or possession, or someone that was very controlling, or there could have been a restraint or a block in the situation. Uh, you know, someone here with the camera energy, someone was like, uh, learn. It shows that there's reminiscing keepsake looking at someone was looking at your pictures. Okay. Um, someone here is learning from the past and they're making memories. Someone here is choosing healthy choices. Okay. in love and in life, self love, self care and being happier. Uh, the sword in the ro rose talks about clarity, truth, revelation, force, honor, protection, and power that's coming in. And there's going to be a love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love or thinking of you and letting you know. Okay, so this is your reading Capricorn, my ho Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Know to have your bath back, and I love you all. And remember, together we are one. Together we are love. Together we are light. Hang in there. All right, everything is going to be fine. I have much, much belief for all of you. Beautiful times are coming for you because you deserve it, Capricorn. Bye. Take care.